Good morning, ladies and gents. It is Friday um, morning, early, coffee in hand, uh, granola bar, fixing to be in belly. And uh, I am taking a vacation day, of all things, today. Uh, I don't take many what I call me days, but... <clears throat> With the baby and all, and the way things are anymore, with the brewery, I just don't have a lot of time to do anything that I just want to do for any length of time, so <clears throat> I decided I would take a day today. Actually, I did last Friday, too, for my birthday, and we went off uh, down the road a little ways and visited some breweries, but today I just wanted to take another day, so it's just two, three-day weekends for me, even though I'm brewing this coming Sunday at the brewery, but today I'm having a, my first ever double brew day here at home. I've never had a double brew day here. I've always just done five and ten gallon batches at one, at, you know, one, and that's it. So I'm getting a little low on beer finally, and uh, instead of doing ten gallon batches, and I'll probably kick myself for this, but I'm just going to do two five gallon batches, uh, two different beers, two totally different beers, and uh, like I say, with me, just me drinking, there, I just don't. It, it gets my IPAs turn are turning into pale ales. By the time I get them drink, um, so <clears throat> last night I come down here and tried to get everything halfway together. It's been so long since I bre brewed here at the house. I can't even remember the last date, but uh, <clears throat> I got everything halfway out and got my grains crushed. Or actually got them weighed out. Didn't get them crushed. And I'm going to attempt. It's kind of along the lines of a variant basket again. I know it won't be close, but we'll see. I'm just, just Maris Otter and Special B. And I'm bumping up the special B because I want it to be a little more malty. Um, <clears throat> we'll see what it does. It's like 12 and a half pounds of Maris Otter, 2 pounds of special B, which is uh, more than I've done in the past. Nugget and Chinook for the hops. And uh, I'll lay this back down so I don't forget which one's which. And uh, WLP007 for the yeast and I made that yeast starter last night it's going away in there I'll pitch it at high krausen and the other one is kind of a lot well it is the uh, Kern River double IPA uh, Citra IPA clone I've never drank the beer but it, <clears throat> it from everything I read it was a great beer I actually tried a variation of it at the brewery not too long ago and it was a fail because I missed my numbers it turned out to be a really good IPA but I missed my number, so the, the gravity wasn't there to make it a double IPA. So I don't know what happened with that, but it turned out to be a really good beer. So uh, Anyway, two row, 13 pounds, half a pound of all the rest of these. Carapils, Crystal 10, Honey Malt, Munich, Flaked Wheat, which you don't normally see in uh, double I IPAs or especially double IPAs. But uh, And it's all citra with nugget for the <clears throat> first bittering hop. And I'm, I'm using the... Um, San Diego Super Yeast uh, WLP090 and I made that yeast starter it was a three liter starter so I made it Wednesday night let it churn for 24 hours till Thursday night just tossed it in the fridge uh, and it's been chilling is that right Tuesday night I made it and let it churn to Wednesday night put it in there Wednesday night in the fridge and let it <coughs> chill down and drop out Till, well, last night was 24 hours, and so this today uh, I'll take it out and, and decant and, and pitch that yeast. So, all right, I'm gonna get everything outside here and get everything fired up. And uh, <clears throat> like I say, I brewed up on the sap coast so much and not so much here, so it's, I feel like I'm like a first time brewer, like it's been so long. So, I feel like it's one of these days I'm gonna be standing around scratching my head a lot. So. I'll give you some footage here and there as we go. All right, doing the, um, hang which beer am I doing? Doing the citra first. The citra first and uh, got the strike water heating up. Uh, I do 1.3 quarts per pound. So I'm doing eight gallons so I can pump over five gallons. And here's my three liter yeast starter that are actually 2.75 liter yeast starter that I made and you see the nice little yeast that settled out from there and there's my little magnet holding my stir bar up and I'm going to decant that off right there down to about right here so 
I don't have enough to swirl. And start a It's just 35 degrees out here this morning, and it was already here. Why not? I think I've ever had a fire pit while I was brewing, so it's another first. Well, I didn't get the video there for a while. Uh, I had a cousin actually stop by, which was a nice visit, and we got to talk a lot about beer and other things. And so, as far as the first batch, <clears throat> I'm transferring. I threw the bowl and Hit my pre-boil numbers. I'm still waiting for the post-boil numbers to cool or post-boil sample to cool down. But I'm transferring my first first five to the ferment bucket and uh, oxygenate it and pitch the yeast, and it'll be ready. And I I wished I had two pumps right now because I can see how beneficial that would be on a double brew day. Uh, my strike water for my second batch is already heating up, and uh, can't really. It's I mean it's where it needs to be. I just can't really transfer it. Until I get my pump done, so. But still, uh, everything's going smooth. I haven't been showing a whole lot, and there probably ain't a whole lot more to show. Pretty much the same old stuff, you know. But I hadn't videoed a brew day in a long time, and never have done a brew day, a uh, double brew day, so. Yep, clicking along, and uh, no catastrophes yet, and uh, about ready to have a beer, but it's still um, a little early, and I don't want to. Well, it's 11 16, so we're getting close. Probably have to have a little something, but. Uh, anyway, we'll catch some more here in a little bit. Man, it has turned out to be a gorgeous day, like in the 60s. It's probably not 60 some yet, but it's like 12:30 maybe noon, noonish, 12:30, 1 o'clock. And I wish I had two pumps. I really do. Would have made things go along a little faster. 12:39. Finally broke down and poured me a beer, uh, back in black. 21st minutes back in black IPA. I'm doing my boil off finally from this batch and uh, run off about two liters there and uh, I'm going to start draining. I've been double batch sparging, but I believe I'm going to single batch sparge this batch because <clears throat> right now I'm really impatient. And uh, I think I told you earlier, this is a nugget. And Chinook, I was thinking earlier why I was trying to think of why I used Nugget on the Citra IPA, but it had to do with the Chinook that I didn't have enough of, not the Citra. So the Nugget, uh, 60 minutes Chinook, 15 minutes Chinook, 10 minutes, and Chinook at Flame Out. And I actually did. Get a few things done while I was mashing in. I actually flew my plane again and broke the landing gear off again. For like the 20th. <laughs> I can't land this plane to save my neck, y'all. I swear. I think I'm just going to hand launch it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, epoxied and glued and epoxied and glued the landing gear right there. And this plane just comes in so fast. And I've got my flapper arms. I just come in at too steep of an angle. And the way my yard is, and I don't have much room back here for that bigger plane. And I've landed it maybe, I've probably flown that plane a dozen times now, 15 times. And I don't know, probably four or five times I've landed without breaking the landing gear off. And um, I've had actually a couple of successful landings where I actually just, most landings will uh, come in and you know, my grass is still a little high. It's kind of, my grass is thick, I guess. And it doesn't roll well, so it'll come in and roll just a little bit and nose over, which doesn't hurt the plane. It's when I come in at too steep of an angle is when I'm breaking the nose gear, uh, the landing gear off. So I believe what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll tell you what, let me get this started here and I'll tell you. Okay, what I, I had to get my, I was about to overflow my little bottle off thingy there. I get my mind on something else and I forget everything else. But yeah, I've knocked the landing gear off that thing so much. And uh, I don't know if you noticed when I showed a minute ago, I just took some tape, 
I'm going to put down through there just to protect that a little bit because I think I'm going to try to belly land it without the landing gear. And I've been wanting to try that. I'm just I'm afraid of two things. I'm afraid the prop catching when it hits the ground and breaking my prop or messing my motor up. Which I don't have the brake on so it should spin freely if it does hit. And I'm afraid that I'll come in at an angle, which I know my plane's upside down, but if I come in at too much of an angle, I'll catch my wing on the ground and um, really do some damage. And that's the two things I've worried, I've worried about. And I think I can hand launch it. That's the other thing I'm worried about. But uh, it's a pretty powerful plane. I, I really do think I can hand launch it if I can control it and not throw it crooked or anything. So I may try it here in a little bit when I get brave with a beer in me. I don't know if I want to, but I just, I don't know. If I could land it without ripping the wings off of it, I'd belly land it every time just to keep from having to freaking glue the landing gear back on every other day. So we'll see. I don't know how much more I'll show. I mean, I'm sure this is getting boring to you. It's going to be the same old routine, so I may show some plain stuff or something at the end of it. I may not, but it's been a cool brew day, double brew day. First batch is already in the fermenter, I mean in the chest freezer with uh, yeast pitch, so get this one boiled up and done and get everything cleaned up maybe fly a little bit and go to a beer tasting tonight so it's gonna be a, a good day nice day off um, questions comments unless I have something else uh, this will probably be the end of it uh, lay a moment appreciate you come by oh this is one of my uh, this is my shirt from one of the brewers we visited on my birthday last weekend ass clown very cool place. A lot of unique beers. They do a little bit of everything. But I don't know if any of you have heard of Ask Clown, but there you go. Later.